Hello guys, we are back here with another video of ESO. And apparently I actually started a new character. And the reason why is because the last character I had a really bad start. I was just trying to show you guys the meaning of the game and the, 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 all the details and how to get by and all that crap. Um, I started a new tank. I call, uh, started a new character and I call him Beastie Tank. That's right. Yep, I called him Beastie Tank. I have two other characters. Um, they're both Templars, Nord Templars. Um, those are characters I've had in the past. This guy right here, Heinrich, he was my first, or is Heinrich is what his name is. Um, he was my fir very first character in ESO. This is him right here. He's a uh, um, he's a uh, level 128. He's really high level Templar champion rank. So he's that's him right there. Um, he is my very first character, one I've had for the longest. The horse and a panther. Neon Pegasus is my second character. Um, I, haven't, I haven't done nearly as much work with him as I've done with Heinrich. Um, or Heinrich or whatever. Um, Beastie Tank is my next one. He's going to be a tanker character. Um, Neon Pegasus is... He's my uh, two-handed, dual-wheeled, uh, two-handed character. He does, <clears throat> he's a damage, a DPS guy. Um, Heinrich, <clears throat> he is a healer. That's kind of what he does. Yes, he is wearing partly medium armor and partly heavy armor. But that, I'm still working on that guy. But anyways, today we are going to play as Mr. Beastie Tank. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so we're only on this island. Um... I've pretty much explored everything on the island. Um, what we're gonna do here is, what I'm at least planning on doing is, so we're gonna travel from here all the way over to here, and from here all the way over to here. You guys ready? Let's do it. So and right now we're gonna we're gonna have to go to a way shrine if we can find one. Wait wait wait. Let's get up here. All right. Uh, way shrine right there. So we're gonna have to go to a little towards to the left. Um, get there maybe. Okay, yeah, we're we're almost there. Yeah, we'll just hop on our little handy dandy horse over here and get over to our destination. Uh, <clears throat> should be heading right over here. So. Apparently with this game is, um, we have to, there's certain areas and places we can't really cross through when it comes to traveling. For instance, if I go to the map, I can't, like, I can't go, I can't just go from here to here, or I can't go from here to, like, let's say, I can't go from here to, to Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil, the only way you get in there is if you go into a, uh, a queue, and it has to be a, an alliance war queue. That's the only way you can get into Cyrodiil. And I'll make some videos on that. I'll make some videos on us doing PvP and uh, uh, some dungeons. We'll do some quests. We'll, we'll, guys, there's so much crap we can do in this game. It's, it's awesome. Um, over here, uh, there's, there's so much in this island. Um, it might not look like a ton, but it's a lot. I mean, you got cities here, cities here, and there's so many quests you can do in that area. Uh, not to mention, you got this area here. That there's a lot to do here. Um, that's where we're actually going to travel here in a second. And then here, uh, that that's all desert. This is pretty much the desert. Uh, this is desert, and that's also desert. There's a little bit of green here and there. This Cyrodiil is all green, and there's some snow. Up here is mostly green, but snow. Um, this is the rift. The rift is very green. I mean, it's you got Riften right here. In Skyrim, you have Riften. You can travel to Riften. Um, the cool thing about this is if you are a anyone in the Ebonheart Pact, um, like a if you're a Nord, so there's Nord, Dark Elf, and um, I think Khajiit. If you're one of those three, if you're anyone in the Ebonheart Pact, one of those races, you can actually be a werewolf, which is quite awesome. Um, and over here is all, that's all Marwyn. But anyways, let's, right now we're going to focus on the Daggerfall Covenant, which is on this section of the map, and let's do this. 
Let's get over to this way shrine and then zoom out. All right, yep, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna travel here. We're gonna run all the way up here. We're, we're gonna explore, guys. I want you guys to see the world of Tamriel. Tamriel is, it's awesome. Um, This is desert, and then we'll start getting the desert when we get up to these areas. Well, actually, these areas should be mostly rocky mountains. Um, not quite sure. I have, to be honest with you guys, 500 hours of gameplay, I still have not even explored all of Tamriel. I, you know, I've never even been over here. This section over here, I've never been there. I've never even stepped foot on this area. I've been here, but I've never set foot in this area. I've been in that dungeon, but I've never been exploring in this area. That's Aldamarian Dominion. Um, yeah, this is our section. We're Daggerfall Covenant. But anyways, it's enough of the talking. Let's get over here. Um, travel there. Alrighty. Guys, when we're walking down this path, we're going to just be going... We're going to be flipping past locations left and right like there's no tomorrow. It's funny because this game is pretty racist. Not not as far, not not what you guys think. I, I mean, racist as in like, they're very racial. I mean, they literally divide up the whole world on race. <laughs> like you got the, you got the Nord on one side and you got the Bark Elves over here. You got the... The orcs over there, and then each uh, group of races has their own alliance, and they're all out there fighting each other. So these are imps. Imps are all you need to know about them is that they are freaking annoying. <laughs> that's that's what they are. They're annoyance. This whole area is just nothing but danger. Um, another thing is, guys, about uh, yeah. So is as you travel the further you travel out the harder the enemies are going to be which is pretty cool because it kind of limits your exploration in, in a way but at the same time you can still explore you know what i mean the thing i have not told you guys is there's danger portals so what danger portals are is basically if you've heard the story of eso there's just there's just like evil god it's called the god of schemes he's a danger prince that wants to pretty much just eat the world and eventually throughout the map you'll find these ancient ruin like ritual looking places um, and these places oftentimes you'll find a danger portal that will just kind of spawn out of nowhere and then start thr throwing in these uh, Daedra uh, soldiers and crap, and then you have to go in and kill them, but you get so much freaking XP when you do it. Um, where am I going? So much XP when you're doing it. It's totally worth your time, and never miss those. If you're traveling somewhere and you're trying to get somewhere, always stop by and help fight, because you and a whole bunch of random other people will try to destroy that area. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you as we travel on what this, what this place looks like and there's not a lot there's not a whole bunch of them in this map and the cool thing about this is that um they respawn like every 30 minutes <laughs> in fact I even used to uh, I used to like just sit there and literally just wait for the next danger portal to come in so I just rack up on XP to level up. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Pretty funny. But as you go on out here, it's gonna, it's, it gets misty, the weather changes, there's, there's so many quests and towns and enemies, like you have an alligator over there. It's just, there's so much crap that you, you're just walking past. I mean, it, I mean, it, it, it doesn't look like it's a lot, but, oh, it's a lot. Way over here we got, if we don't get Okay, screw that. Because I was going to go get iron ore, but anyways, let's keep going. But this whole area, there's a lot, and there's a way shrine. You'll, you'll run in the way shrines as you travel and all that stuff. And you'll run in other people like this. They're also very high level. Um, I've been in this area before. I, I recognize it, and I kind of know what to expect. 
usually in this area. Yeah, you run in the werewolves. I think since they've had an update recently in this game, it doesn't really show the level of the enemy. I mean, it's weird. I wish I was more of a fighter. Those bastards might return. Don't quite way. understand it. Hello, d dude. That's a weird way to drive your horse. Or ride it. But why am I going this way? I should be going over here. Hello, my friend. Nope, you are not a friend. You are going to kill me. Another thing about ESO is the more you play this game, um, obviously the higher level you get. But not only that, it's, it, it gets to the point where, like, you just... You, you're starting to play more with friends because when you start off the game you're you're more like doing quests you're exploring you're still getting used to the game like but once you hit to like level 50 then you start going getting involved in dungeons you start getting involved in PvP ironically you actually um, don't get the true fun of the game until you hit level 50 not that it's not fun when you start off before level 50 it's just that it gets even more fun the game is more open to you you have more to do and it's really awesome and through here you I mean you'll just keep running into people that are fighting I mean there's over like I think 2,000 people in one sec one map like one sorry server and I'm in one server which is pretty much all of this if you think about it but yeah there's like over 2,000 people hello my friends what are you guys up to so I'm not sure what this area is is um, cooking fire you can actually cook you can have food is a very essential not like extremely essential but it's essential enough to I would say be very important to your health oh, I just leveled up um, I say stamina. I'm really big into stamina, stamina considering that I'm a, a tank. Now, here we are. Daedric, Ebonheart, uh, charge you and your allies' weapons with volcanic power to gain major sorcery. Um, I'm more than this. Oh, yeah, here we are. We can unlock that. All right, we're good. But yeah, I mean, once you get further in the game, it you just get more into it, and, and it's more widespread. Like the game becomes more open to you, just as you level up, really. Oh wait, I don't want to go on this island. It looks like you'll find a uh, blacksmithing section over there. I mean, look how far we've traveled. And if you look on the map here, guys, um. This right here, this icon, that just mean that's just a, a boss. Those are boss fights. I mean, you'll find a big old guy there, and you have to kill him. And, and it's highly recommended that you get more people to do it. But yeah, those are good to know about, and they give you a lot of XP. I'm sorry, they forced me to do it. I had no choice. Over here, yeah, you'll find wood, and just always stop by and get this jump. What the. F Okay, this tells me that I need to run. <laughs> what the freak happened? Okay, you see that big thing over there? Stay away from it. <laughs> Unless you're a high level. I don't know why these people are trying to kill me. This guy seems like he's a friendly dude. Oh, Sky Shards. Yes, I don't think I... I believe I have not told you guys about these, but Sky Shards are basically free skills. I mean, if you collect a certain amount of them, it'll give you one free skill point. Like, what I just got, I just gained one skill point, and then you can go into your skill section and pick a skill. It's great. Now this looks cool, lava whip. Mm, does up to 2,000 some damage. Um, I really want this. Oh, well, I'll, I'll save it. And yes, you can go into first person mode. I'm not really into it. I mean, this game is really meant for 
third person. Um, just for the sake of like being in huge, large groups and like being very fast with pace. Now we're heading northwest, so we should be getting to sort of the center of this area. As you travel through this area, you'll um, quite frequently run into um, different enemies and they'll get even harder and harder. Help and you'll run into people like this that ask you to start a quest with them. But yeah. Well. Well, guys, since we're almost to the end of this area, um, I'm going to have to end the vi uh, video right here and. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, please leave a like down at the bottom if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.